Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new Game Maker tutorial. Today we're creating an experience bar. Um, this could be useful if you're making an RPG game or you're making uh, maybe a top-down zombie shooter and you gotta level up for some reason, I don't know. Um, but this is a pretty basic experience bar and it's not gonna take too long actually. Um, I say we just jump right in. I got nothing else to say here. Let's just get with it. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make sure you have three variables. Now I'm going to make an object. I'm going to call this OBJ stats. And in the create, whoops, that was my keyboard. In the create event, I'm going to drag some code and I'm going to make three variables. Now you might already have these made in your game, but we need to make uh, a level variable, an XP variable, and a max XP variable. I'm just going to set that to one for now. But we can't make them just like this. We're actually going to make them global. And we can do that by going a line above them and saying global var and then the name of the variable, so level. And then immediately that that variable is now global. So it means it can be used by any object in the room, uh, which makes it um, a lot easier for us. So a lot easier when we're collecting experience from attacking enemies or when we're um, you know, using our level to test stuff. I don't know, just, you know, it makes it easier for your game, trust me. Um, and we're gonna do the same here. We're gonna say global var XP and global var uh, max XP. Because you you might wanna set it so that your, your player's speed um, is like much faster if he's over level five or something. So if it's global, then we can go into the player object and still use the variable. Um, I do have a tutorial on global variables, uh, which I'll link uh, in the description. Um, but cool. Now there's one last thing we have to do here in the create event, and this isn't actually one. This is actually a bit of math that we're going to use, and it's going to use it to calculate how much experience the player needs to level up. And But every time the player does level up, it's going to increase that number, so that it's harder and harder as the player you know, levels up higher and higher, it's harder and harder for him to level up. Because of course, if you're level, you know, 100, you're fighting level 100 monsters who are dropping a lot more experience. So you can't level up the exact same way as you are when you're level one. You need to make it a little more difficult for the player. Um, so this is a bit of math, but don't worry, it's not too bad. So I'm put, gonna put a bracket, I'm gonna say 30 plus level times 100 minus 20. Now make sure you have the right amount of brackets. So this is a bit of math here, I know, um, but it's math that um, I found online that works great. It works perfect for what we're going for, and it makes the experience bar um, exactly how we need it to. Um, and as you can see, because we're multiplying 100 by level, um, so right now our level is one, so it's one times 100, which is 100. But as we level up, it's going to be two times 100, which is 200. And you can see how it's going to increase. But don't worry about that. Just make sure you have the right amount of brackets and all that good stuff. And the math is all right. You can look at that for a moment. Alrighty, I'm going to hit check. And we're going to add a draw event. And we actually want to draw the variable. We want to draw the, um, or not the variable, the experience bar. Um, I guess we could draw the variable, but we're going to be drawing the experience bar. And to do that, we're going to be drawing two rectangles. So we're going to say draw underscore rectangle underscore color. And this takes, uh, I think, nine variables, or nine parameters, sorry, not variables. So it takes two x's, two y's, four colors, and then if it has an outline. So let's start with the position. We're going to put x, y plus 50, x plus 305. This is just um, what I found and the length I, I like. Um, a lot of these numbers you'll have to edit depending on how large you want your experience bar to be, but I'll show you that in a bit. Y plus 600, oh, whoops, sorry, not 600, 60. C underscore black, C underscore black, C, C underscore black, C underscore black, C underscore black. False. Uh, what are we missing here? One, two, three, four, black, 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 black. We got an extra black, we don't need this one. So you only need four colors, and basically each of these colors are for each corner of the rectangle, but we want the whole rectangle to be, bl to be black because this is the back of the experience bar. Um, so that's just gonna stay like that. 
Next up here is we're going to do it again. Let me make this bigger for you guys. Um, we're going to do it again. We're going to say draw underscore rectangle underscore color, but it's slightly different. So it's still X and it's Y plus 50 because you want that to be the same. But now we want the length here. So on a rectangle, so in Game Maker we have this X, which is the this the top corner, this Y, which is this bottom left corner, this X, which is the top right corner, and this Y, which is the bottom right corner. So since we want the this is the experience bar itself, so we want that to grow and sh not shrink, I guess, but grow based on if the player is gaining experience. So we need a bit of math to do that. We're going to say X plus XP divided by max XP times 300, and that's it. That's the math, times 300. I don't know, I had the wrong tone of voice there. Uh, 300. So what that's going to do is that's going to change the length of our experience bar based on how much experience we have. All right, next, uh, Y plus 60. And then next, you need whatever color you want your experience bar to be. Uh, for some reason, I'm in the mood to make mine aqua, but you could make yours green or purple or whatever you want. I don't know. Um, but make sure you have four of those colors. And then we're going to say false again, because we don't actually need an outline. But this is it. That This is the whole thing here um, for the draw event. So we have just drawn our experience bar. But there's one last thing we have to do, and we need to make it so the player can actually level up. So I'm going to go, I'm going to add a step event, and I'm going to drag in some code. And I'm going to say, if XP is greater than or equal to max XP, that like that means if we've reached the max XP, then XP is equal to zero, level plus equals one, and then we have to go into here, we have to copy, just copy this code again. So we're going to copy this, we're going to paste it down here. Um, so it just recalculates the max experience. And then in here, if you want the player to get any bonus stuff when he levels up, like maybe increase his HP or, you know, make his armor stronger or something, you would also do that in this code. So what this code is here is this is the leveling up code. Whoops. Um, level up. And then, so, and then this uh, resets, whoops, resets um, max XP. And this increases level. Oh my goodness, my typing is horrific today. Okay, now that we've got past that part, literally out of all that code, it's the comments that I screw up on. So I'm going to hit check. And really quick here, what we've done is we've made some global variables, our level, our experience, and our max experience. And we have this math so that our max experience increases every single time we level up. Um, so that makes it more difficult for the player to level up as he goes on. And then in the draw event, we've drawn a black rectangle, and then we've drawn a, in my case, an aqua rectangle that is going to grow as we gain experience. But I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to create a room. I'm going to make mine 640 by 480. And I'm going to make the background, it's an RPG game maybe, so I'm going to make it a grassy color. And I'm going to go to objects, and I'm going to place stats in the room. Now, you will want to place this where you want your experience bar to be. So if I want mine on the bottom here, I'm going to place this guy kind of in the bottom. I'm actually going to move him over one. That's perfect. That's what we need. So I'm going to hit play and we're going to run the game. Let's see if we have any errors in case we maybe we misspelled something or. Okay, so here you can see we have the experience bar and you can see we got a little bit. We got zero and it shows there's just a slit of experience. Um, but I realized we didn't make a way to increase that. So I'm going to go back into stats, I'm going to add a keyboard space event, and I'm going to drag in some code, and I'm going to say XP plus equals 5. So that way we can just test to see if we gain experience. Okay, so here we are, and if I hit space, you can see our experience bar gets longer, and then it's going to hit the max experience, and it's going to reset. And it's going to keep doing that. And as you can see, as we keep getting higher and higher, it's going to get slower and slower. 
And that's because it's, be it's becoming more difficult. It's doing the math over and over, and it's realizing that, okay, the player needs to be challenged a bit more here. So now it's actually a bit of an effort. Um, so you would probably incorporate this into whatever HUD you already have into your game. So you might have the health here and the level here. Um, but I'm not going to do that in this tutorial. If you guys do want to see that, let me know, and I'll do a part two. Um, but for now, yeah, that's an experience bar. So I hope this uh, helped you guys. And I will talk to you all in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Happy devving.